Hello and welcome to the Building a Blog series. So this is just some setup support for this series. So I just want to show you in this tutorial how to download the code from GitHub. Say you wanted to just delve into tutorial part 10. So I'm going to show you how to download the code from GitHub, extract and create a new project folder, create a new virtual environment. So you'll run your Django project in a virtual environment, and then we'll install the requirements for that particular project. And then we go ahead and start the server and I'll just take you through starting the server, go into the admin panel, login in, so on. So if you want to start from one of these projects, simply just select the tutorial that you want to follow. And typically at the bottom in the section here, you'll see a link to the code repositories. Alternatively, you can simply just head over to Google and type in GitHub Very Academy and that would take you to um, the repositories at GitHub. And from here, you can search the repositories for the particular project that you want to run. So imagine we want to download and run this part five. Simply just click on there and select the code and download the zip. So once it's finished downloading, head to the downloads folder and paste it in a new project folder. I've made a folder here in C drive called proj. And we just need to extract it right here. So now we can go in and you can see that everything is fine. So what I need to do from here is two things. First of all, I need to install a virtual environment. So I'm going to run it from a virtual environment and then I need to run the requirements. So I am assuming that you have Python installed. If you don't have Python installed, just head over to the Python website, download, run through the installation. That's really the only requirement you're going to need to get this started. So um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to copy this um, path here and then I'm going to open up a new Visual Studio Code window. And then from here, select the file open folder and then just paste that folder location in, select folder. That's going to open up the project folder. And then from here, I'm going to be utilizing the terminal within here. So I don't have to use a terminal in here. I could just go to start and type in CMD and use that terminal and head to the location. But it's just easier to use a terminal in here and I'll just remove that. And then from here, I'm already inside my project folder. So here, as long as I've got Python installed, I can run the um, PY. And then I want to do a minus M, a switch M, because I'm going to be using a piece of software and then virtual environment. And then the folder I want to install the virtual environment. So the VMV command is going to run the virtual environment or try to start a new virtual environment. And then I define the folder I want to install the virtual environment within. So I press enter, that goes ahead. You notice that a new folder appears and wait a couple of seconds and that's complete. So now I'm going to start the virtual environment. So the idea of working in a virtual environment is that we can run the code within this um, individual area without disrupting any other installations on your main operating system. So now I'm going to type in VMV because I want to navigate to that folder backslash, then a folder called uh, scripts. And then I want to type in A and I'm going to press tab to activate. And you notice when I activate, I've got this VMV here denoting the fact that the virtual system is working or I'm inside the virtual machine now. So what I want to do first is use pip in the package manager and install Django. So first thing I need to do is, is actually install Django in this virtual environment. So I go ahead and do that. So once I've done that, you'll notice the inside of this project is a file called requirements.txt. So inside of here, these are all the dependencies or the requirements to get the actual application working. So while we're, while we're building with Django, we add on packages and dependencies, etc., to enhance the facilities, enhance the um, features, sorry, of Django. So we need to make sure that those are installed to get our program working. So to install those, all we need to do is type in PIP again and then install. And they're going to run this on the requirements file. So we use the R switch and then requirements.txt. There we go. So what it's going to do is Pip is going to work through that list that we just saw here. And it's just going to make sure that everything is installed. 
Notice that these numbers here denote the version. So not only do you get the package installed, you get the correct version that might be particular to a particular project. Okay, so now we can go ahead and start the server. So we use the manage pi to do that and run server. So that's going to start the server. And if it is successful, we should have this message starting development server and where the server is at. So go ahead and open a new browser window and then navigate to 12700 That's where the server is running. And you can see that the application has started. So in the early parts of the series, we'll be using the admin area. So type in slash admin, you'll be able to get into the administration. And typically the password, unless I tell you differently, is going to be admin password, admin username. And that's going to take you into the admin area. As the series progresses, we'll be utilizing different features and functionality, which I'll take you over um, as we go through the series in individual tutorials. Okay, so that's a basic setup on how to get the application running. From there, you should be able to then follow the tutorial, the particular tutorial. And obviously, don't forget, if you're doing tutorial six, you'll need the tutorial five code. So it's always the one down unless you just want to see the, the code as I go along in the tutorial. If you do have any problems or queries or questions, then please leave it in the comment section. Alternatively, if you want to utilize Facebook to send a message message, then please do. If you have any problem with code, then you can again message me on YouTube or you could alternatively use some of the other social media that we use. Of course, I can't always guarantee um, to look at your code in the time frame that you possibly would like me to. Um, it's always better to send me a link from GitHub and then just to make sure that you're including a requirements file so that if I have got time to download and run your application to test your code, then it just makes it a lot easier for me to do so. Okay, so that's how to download a tutorial from the series, um, extract it, install the virtual environment, install the requirements and start the server.